This tutorial is focused on master input equalization. We assume that a de-equalization and phase alignment have been previously performed by the Virtuoso Configuration Wizard. By clicking on the icon, we open the master DEQ window that shows us the de-equalization and time delays applied by the Virtuoso software. The blue curve shows the frequency response of the OEM master source, while the yellow curve shows the de-equalization applied by the processor to linearize. The orange curve shows the master input frequency response obtained with the application of automatic de-equalization. We will see later that this curve can be customized manually with the input equalizer. Let's examine now if the master input includes some all-pass filters, and how the system proposes to compensate them. In the lower right part of the windows, we can observe the total electric response of the emission front. The frequency response shows us evident holes between 100 and 500 Hz. The Virtuoso software suggests us to apply two all-pass filters in the front left channel. By activating them, Virtuoso compensates the holes in the total electric response. The all-pass filters are automatically positioned by the system. You can move them manually by varying the intervention frequency, the slope Q, and the phase. Changing all-pass filters parameters modify the total electric response in real time. Please note the total electric response graph is different from the acoustic frequency response. You have to use a professional RTA tool like Audison BitTune to perform a phase alignment based on the acoustic response of the car cabin. By selecting the filters with mouse and pressing control key with right left arrows you can adjust phase and with up down arrows you can adjust the Q factor. If you lose the suggested setting during adjustment you can press restore button to move back. Once you completed the phase alignment with input EQ, I can manually adjust parametric EQ poles to obtain a perfectly flat response of the selected emission front. Master input EQ provides 8 FIR linear phase parametric poles that can be applied starting from 100 Hz up to 20,000 Hz. An extra IIR parametric pole can be used from 20 Hz up to 100 Hz and one shelving pole can be applied in the upper part of the audio spectrum. During adjustment, I can enable, disable the equalizer and all pass filters to check their contribution in real time. Once I completed the tuning of the input equalizer, I can move on to the channel equalizer, the focus of the next tutorial.